Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these Minnie Mouse ears. And I'm calling them my Minnie Mouse Valentine's Day ears because they're just filled with Valentine's bread and hearts and just love. Of course, you can wear these throughout the year whenever you want them, but I thought that it'd be perfect just to um, make and upload this video now so that you guys can make it in time for Valentine's Day. They're so simple to make and you really don't need that many materials for this. And yeah, I'll take you over what you need and we can get started. You're going to need some felt. I'm using just felt doilies, but you can use regular felt, a headband, um, and some foam brushes. You only need one. Small one is fine. Glow in the dark. Fabric paint is optional, and you're going to need some white paint. You are also going to need a piece of cardboard, some scissors, and um, something round that is about four inches in diameter. I'm using a cup. You can use a compass or anything else in your house that you find is about four inches in diameter. And then we're going to trace the cup on the cardboard and also on our felt. Um, you're going to need four pieces of felt, so you're going to have four circles. Then you want to take your headband and um, we're going to use that to make a mark on the felt and cardboard circles just so we know um, where we have to cut in order for those circles to fit nice and snug on the headband so that when we glue it on it's a lot easier to glue and um, it'll stay a lot better because it's resting well on the headband. So what you want to do next is, well, first finish uh, marking everything. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take some plastic. You can use contact paper if you want. Um, I'm just using this plastic. Um, I think I cut it out of a, um, like a package or something. And I drew a heart on it and with a, uh, an exacto knife I cut out the heart. And we're going to use it as a stencil um, for our mini ears. So there I'm just showing you the little markings. Um, so I already did one coating um, on all four ears. Um, and my camera ran out of battery, so that's why I didn't show you guys. But it's basically just what I'm going to show you guys now. Um, you want to take your stencil and hold it you know, tightly with your fingers, put some white uh, fabric paint on it, and then with your foam brush, you can really just use any brush. Um, I just like foam brushes for this, it makes it a lot easier for me. And then I'm going to start distributing the uh, paint into the stencil. Now, you want to hold the stencil tight onto the felt, um, and you want to be careful so that none of the paint slides under the plastic um, and then ruins the design. So as you can tell that heart is a lot clearer and whiter um, than the other hearts. So you want to um, stencil the um, felt once, let it dry for a couple minutes, um, maybe hours if you can, and then go over it with some more paint. So I already cut out my cardboard, as you can see that's what it should look like, and I also cut out my um, felt ears, and I've let this dry for about six hours. That's what the bottle said to do. So as you can see, um, I cut down one of my cardboards to be a bit smaller than the actual ear. Um, and the reason for this is that when we sandwich everything together, we don't want the cardboard to be seen so we're gonna make it a little bit smaller in order for us to be able to glue the, t the felt edges so that we don't see the cardboard and I'm also sorry that it's darker in the um, other, half, other half of this video um, I filmed part of it in the daytime and then part of it at night so the quality is kind of bad but I'm sorry um, so now I just um, cut out some felt into triangles um, 
and I mean rectangles I don't know why I always get those confused um so we're gonna take one of the pieces and we're gonna glue it on just maybe a third of the way um, and I'm gonna glue it onto the side and then we're going to attach our cardboard so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom portion just so that it sticks and then flip it over and put some glue on the edges so that everything is nice and glued on. So now what I'm doing is I'm bending that little piece of felt that we glued between the cardboard and the felt so that it can be a little bit more flexible so that it can go where we want it to go. And now we're going to glue it onto the headband. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it where I want it and then put some glue onto the headband and then um, hold the ear onto the headband for a few seconds until the glue is completely cooled down. And you want to add some to the edges and um, just to make sure that everything is nice and um, cool and really glued onto the headband because we don't want to want it to go anywhere. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get that felt and kind of pull it to the back. Um, I did it as hard as or as tightly as I could because I don't you know I don't want it to go anywhere so then we're going to put some glue onto the back and then glue that piece. And that piece of felt is just going to help so that um, the ear doesn't go anywhere so it's a little bit of uh, more of a support. So we're going to glue the other part of the felt ears um, and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the bottom and then I'm going to stick the ear on the felt. going to make sure to squeeze the sides because I really want that to be nice and glued together so that you don't see any of the cardboard showing through. And now I'm just going to glue the cardboard to the felt and um, yeah. Something that I wanted to mention to you guys about this particular headband that I'm using, I bought this at Michael's for um, I think it was three dollars. Um, and I was going to order headbands online because I think I found them on eBay for a dollar or about two dollars for five. Um, so I would recommend you guys check on eBay to see, you know, if you have time to see um, if they have cheaper headbands, which they do. So I would suggest for you guys to um, order them online rather than to buy the headband. Um, I just bought it because I needed it right away. Uh, but unless, you know, if you don't mind spending, you know, $3 on a just a plain headband, then, um, you know, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, so you want to glue the edges of the two ears just like so. And as you can tell, none of that cardboard is peeking through. The ear looks a little bit stuffed, which I think looks, you know, a little bit nice. And um, they're nice and firm and they're not going to flop. And I love them. So, yeah. So now we're going to move on to the bow. I'm using one and a half inch um, satin red, red ribbon and then you're going to need a little wire tie. This is just a um, little bread tie. Um, I'm going to take my ribbon and loop it around twice. Um, and, uh, I measured the length and um, when you loop it around it's about four inches so you want to do around eight inches because um, you're going to loop it around twice and so you want to pinch it in the middle and make sure that it's in the middle because you know we want it to be symmetrical and then um, I'm just taking the inner um, ribbon um, and then I'm just pulling it out so as you can see it makes like this little X so the inner ribbons are going diagonal and then the outer ribbon is um, going also diagonal in the opposite direction. 
and then when you do that you want to gather the ribbon up in the middle and kind of play around with it until you get you know what you are looking for and then with your little wire tie you want to grab that and just twist it together so it's nice and tight um, we're gonna take our uh, ribbon now the other piece and I'm going to loop it around the bow maybe like three times and I'm gonna cut it and then I'm going to fold the ribbon in half because it's too big for what I for what we need it for um, but if you do like the size for the middle of the bow then you're more than welcome to use that I just I thought that half of the ribbon would look better and I didn't want to cut it because I didn't want it to fray off so um, I'm just gluing the two um, edges together to make it half the size obviously and then I'm going to get a little bit of glue from my hot glue gun and add a little bit on top of the um, center of the bow and then add some on the front and just wrap the um, ribbon around until you get to the back side. So once you get to the back, you want to just glue everything into place. If the beginning of your ribbon isn't completely um, glued on, you want to make sure that it is. And uh, you know this will just make it for the middle not to be so bulky and um, just for it to be a little bit smoother. So you want to hold it. And then we're going to add a little bit of glue on top of the center of the bow like so and so the center of your bow that ribbon is just going to be sticking out of the front um, and now we are ready to glue it onto the headband so you want to take your hot glue gun and place a blob of glue right in the center in between the ears Then with the ribbon, the leftover ribbon part facing outward towards the front, um, you're going to place that bow on the headband. So as you can see, the middle ribbon is facing to the front and then we're going to pull it to the back so that that middle section is also giving the bow support so that it can stay on and we don't have to worry about um, it falling off. So what I'm doing here is I'm just wrapping that um, extra piece of ribbon around the center of the bow and ending in the back. Then I glued it on and you are completely done. These are so adorable. I did add some of the um, glow in the dark paint in the back so the hearts in the back glow. Hi guys, it's me again. Um, just, you know, to end this video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please check out my Minnie Mouse flower ears. Um, I will put them right here and I'll also link it down below. Um, those are super super cute as well and they're perfect for springtime which is um, just around the corner actually uh, so yeah have a wonderful day guys God bless you and I'll see you guys in the next video bye